welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to do a bit of maintenance on the tank we're going to look down in the sump see some of the changes i've done there and then we're going to talk about ph i'm dosing a two-part solution but i've added a ph plus just so i can up my ph and i'm trying to stabilize it and stop the drop in ph between day and night and i'm going to show you that a little bit later in the video the tank's looking pretty good at the moment this is more of a white light or a whiter light than the last video I shot. So there's no filter on the camera. Before we get into the meat of the video, if you could please like and subscribe. Your support does go a long way and really helps me make these videos. It's a nice hot day in the UK. It's gone up to about 29 degrees. So the fan has just kicked on. This does a really good job of keeping the aquarium below 26 degrees, which is perfect. This is a pretty simple setup for an Acropora reef tank. My weekly maintenance doesn't really take me that long. And if you make things simple, then you're definitely more likely to do than weekly. And routine and stability definitely goes a long way with a reef tank. Just before we go down into the sump, going to do a little bit of maintenance on the tank firstly I'm just going to do a quick water change so I'm going to do a water change it's normally about 25 liters I put the salt in there give it a mix up why that's mixing I'm going to go and concentrate on the skimmer I'm just going to empty the cup this is just to show you how quick uh, my weekly maintenance is I don't clean the skimmer every week so some weeks I empty it and other weeks I give it a quick clean so that's coming out. Okay, now I've siphoned the tank. I've taken all the detritus off the bottom of the tank. So that's coming out. That's like that every week. My weekly maintenance takes me about half an hour. And you can see how little I take out. I've put the new water back in. I've turned on the pumps and shut the curtains. So you can see a little bit better now. It's pretty important to get a good weekly routine going with a fish tank because like you saw then, that water coming out is very dirty. So if I miss that for a week, then my nitrates and phosphates will go up. At the moment, they're sitting around 25 for nitrates and 0.1 for phosphates, which is quite on the, the higher side. Now we're going to dive down into the sump and have a look at some of the changes I've made down here. In straight away, some of you will see that I've taken out the middle um, bit of glass. It just gives me a lot more room for maintenance and just to get around the back and if I want to grab a rock. I think it just flows a lot better like this. It's easier to get the, um, the phosphate reactor out also or clean any of the pumps if I need to. The Clarisy filter roller is lasting me a good couple of months at the moment. I've opened the foul fully. There's a screw here normally, but I've opened that so water passes through and it's directed straight into the skimmer. So that's just going to save the life of the roll as I don't want to take too much out of the water. Now we're going to go through how I dose my two part to help with my pH swings. This is pH plus. This is alkalinity. Um, it increases your pH as well. So I'm going to be dosing this at night. And the normal part one, I'll be dosing during the day. And this is going to flatten off my pH swings. And this is what's in the right hand dosing container that hasn't got a label on. On the left hand side you've got part one which is an alkalinity in the middle is calcium and magnesium and some trace elements and on the right hand is another alkalinity but it's ph plus this is how i'm dosing it to the tank i'm dosing 120 mils of each and i'm dosing ph plus at night and part one during the day This is my pH through the day and night. You can see it's quite a bit of a drop 
at high and low. The swing is 0.35. So we've got lows of 8.1 and highs of 8.45. And I'm just going to try and flatten off this line by dosing the pH plus at night. And this is what the pH is doing at the moment. You can see the swings a lot better. The line is a lot flatter. It's 8.25 and going up to 8.45 so there's a lot of time 8.3 and above which is absolutely perfect for the pH and growing corals I think I can do better I think I can flatten this line a little bit more by just um, doing more dosing of the pH plus and less of the part one at certain times so this is only going to get better Part of my weekly maintenance is to top up the dosing containers. These dosing containers are awesome because look, you can stir it right up as well. It's got like a solid tube in the middle. Always make sure that you check you've got the right one as well. I've only done that once in sort of 10 years, put the wrong dosing solution in the wrong one. And you, I think you only do that once. And now these are all topped up. They're all going to drop at the same time because I'm dosing 120 mils of each. So it's a good thing to look at because they should all be level or close enough. So that's a good way of making sure that your dosing pump is working properly. These dosing containers last me two weeks. Okay, that's everything topped up. You can see my pH is 8.39 at the moment, which is perfect. And the temperature is just under 26 as it is a really hot day at the moment, so the fan is still on. I just gotta get myself a sticker for the right hand side dosing container. That's better, I should have done that before I've shot this video, just so you can see what dosing solution is in each container. The tank is still doing really well at the moment. I've had to up my dosing solutions so you know the corals are growing. Everything's looking pretty good. The fish are nice and healthy. This is a funny little shot. I saw this little starfish, this Astrina starfish, caught by the coral and the coral's actually taking it in. And the copper band comes along and takes it straight out. And the copper band doesn't eat Astrina starfish. Um, there's plenty of them in there. I think it was just being curious because I was looking at it and it's, it's nearly feeding time. Okay, some other things that are going on with the tank. My um, Bangor Cardinals are having babies again. So the male's got the eggs in his mouth that you can see here. And then the female will come into shot. She's very protective of him when he's holding the eggs. There she is. They've been together for about four years now and they have babies sort of every six weeks. Most of the babies get eaten by the fish. Some go over the overflow and then get taken out by the filter. So in this video, you saw me doing my weekly maintenance. It takes me about half an hour. You saw me doing those bits. So I also feed the fish and clean the glass. And that's it for this one. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.